Alright guys, welcome back to the multiverse. So, a lot has gone on in the real world. Not so much has gone on, honestly, here. Um, a couple changes I made is I did turn off everything, including um, turned off Fog of War, turned off um, <clears throat> everything I possibly could. Last time I did notice that you could still see troop movement channels through my land and the allied people's land, and it appears that by turning off Fog of War and... Uh, what other thing did I turn off just for relevance sake here? I turned off uh, display resources and fog of war. So there's nothing here. You can't even see what, uh, well, once I zoom in, you can see all my guys. I don't really care because I'm kind of interior right now. It shouldn't affect me. It, it will, would affect my allies though. Um, but you can see, you can't even see what resource tiles are there. So um, I'm wrapping up my war over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and conquer into here to sort of unify my interior homeland. Um, it is kind of funny I... Um, it's kind of funny I clicked on this to build a uh, capital in the middle of my country, and I built it, and it said, you can't build it, you're already building it. So then I, I clicked around, and I was like, oh, there's there's my capital, and it's I guess it's been building for like two or three days now, and I, I just forgot, like I had already done that earlier. So um, anyway... Not much going on in the game, but a lot has gone on out of the game. So um, if anybody's in the Discord, then um, you will see there was a lot of sort of negativity over there. And specifically, it was um, 50 Cal and Clapping Cheeks um, were really going at it, um, angry about uh, what they claimed was gold marking from uh, Papa Smitty over here. So um, basically, I think anybody who was kind of casually following that is the whole time I was just saying, look, you need to bring proof. You know, you need to bring some proof of that. Um, much earlier in the game, maybe mm, four or f really a lot earlier in the game, um, the same two players claimed that China was gold marking. And, uh, <clears throat> and then, gosh couple weeks later they completely changed their tune they're like no i don't think it is gold marking you see that they, uh, they had a channel um in my server so um i would bump over and look at their channel just to kind of see what was going on in their part of the world so i could cast better and i was just keeping my eye on that and at some point they they were like no he's not gold marking he's just hyper responsive just really really responsive and it, to a weird extent like uh you know, it's hard to kite in this game. Um, but if somebody's in your territory, um, infantry go one third speed. So they're only going 12 kilometers per hour and your cannon go 25 kilometers per hour on your on home territory. So if you're if you're careful enough, you can just kite backwards forever and, uh, and really wreck armies. Um, and I guess that's what China was doing. They got upset because every time they attacked, China reacted. And they're like, he's playing 24-7. So their next allegation is that they were sharing an account. So maybe someone in Australia and someone in America were sharing an account. So someone's always awake. Um, again, that's one possibility. But another possibility is that this person has alerts on their phone and they're super obsessed with this game, right? But uh, anyway, so those are two examples. One, uh, allegations of gold marking against China that they later took back. And then allegations of sharing an account that they had no evidence for whatsoever. So when a few weeks later, they made similar allegations about Popcat, about, sorry, not Popcat, uh, Papa Smitty over here, um, I really just came down firmly on, like, look, you can't, you can't be making accusations without proof. And their first accusation was they showed a screenshot of four battleships developing um, from the newspaper. And it, again, I was like, that's not proof. It doesn't say what provinces they came they came from. And I think most of us start particular units on a particular day because we're going around. We finally have level three factories or whatever it is we want to get. Uh, we've got our harbors built. And so we batch build so that the fact that, you know, four battleships built, um, they didn't all build at the same time either. It was just throughout throughout one particular day. So um, it just kept escalating. And anybody who was sort of a part of that was like, I would try to be reasonable and explain to them what I was asking for. 
and they would come back with, you know, calling me a hypocrite and attacks like personal attacks and stuff like that. And if anybody knows me, you know, I, I do have a thick skin. It's hard to rattle me. Um, but that can be a bad thing because I, I let it go on for way too long. And it was, it was kind of freaking people out and it's just not good for the community, the health of the community, the mental health of the community, whatnot. And, uh, so what happened is last night, um, Mighty Benaya had a, a great idea. He said, look, we, we need some kind of tribunal, um, some way that, that people can. So I think, I think maybe on previous video, the one right before this or two before this, I finally came up with what my, what my aha moment is. Cause I'm still figuring all this stuff out. And that is as a caster, I don't ever want to be against one of my subscribers. So I don't want to be against anyone. Um, so it's, it's going to be impossible for me to be a judge and punish people and, you know, penalize people for gold marking or anything like that. Um, and, and for me to be truly neutral and sort of, um, trusted to cast this game, right. And not favor anyone in particular. Um, I, I kind of bowed out of that and that seemed to, to really piss off, uh, clapping cheeks and 50 cal. And I said, well, what do you do when people gold mark in, in a game other places? And they were like, nothing because nobody can do anything about it. I'm like, I can't do anything about it. You know, first of all, I can't kick anybody out of the game, you know? And second of all, I feel like morally I can't do anything about it because I'm sort of, I sort of need to be this neutral, uh, caster, you know, like, uh, somebody who's sports casting doesn't go out and enforce the rules of baseball, right? You don't have the sports caster come down onto the field and say, you know, that was a foul or, you know, against this basketball player. It's like, no, you're, you're neutral. You're, you're, you're casting the game. So, um, what we did was we went ahead and made a specific channel, um, and started talking about, okay, well, let's talk about what we want our rules to be. Let's nominate people that we all trust to be part of that tribune. Um, and let's put together a system where people who have complaints, um, can go. And so we talked about things like, um, you know, people use gold marks that they earn legitimately in the game and people use them for a number of things. Um, somebody mentioned early fort development should be okay. Um, somebody mentioned, um, propping up, uh, morale should be okay. Uh, especially if you're attacking in and you want to keep on attacking, you don't have time to leave six guys behind to protect from rebellion. And so, but the point is that, that, like it or not, gold marks are a part of the game and we do win them when we win the game. And so that, that seems to me like something that a country might be able to use by having sort of an extra amount of resources that they hold in reserve so that if a territory is about to rebel, you flood that market with money or, you know, and, and make people happier or something. I don't know. But, um, Point being, though, that what we wanted to do is say, okay, first of all, we can't punish anybody because there aren't any rules, you know, like we don't have any rules about this. Um, so we talked about what is the threshold of gold marking? What does that look like? And then secondly, we talked about things like um, if you make an accusation of gold marking, you have to be able to prove it. And so this whole experience has taught me that um, it's very hard to prove gold marking. You know, um, the one thing that we we found is proof positive is buildings. If you can prove, um, and it's easy to prove, if you can show rather in the paper that somebody built, say, a factory level one, and then an hour later, a factory number two in the same province, because um, buildings are province specific. I really wish that units were province specific, but for whatever reason, the newspaper doesn't tell you where the units developed. And that might be because that would be an unfair advantage for people. They know where, you know, where your stuff, if, if somebody was careful enough, they could keep track of everything. I, I don't know. I mean, to me, it, that shouldn't make that big of a difference, but they don't, they don't tell what province uh, units come from, but we did figure out that, yeah, we can do that. So now the question is, well, okay, someone rushes a factory. So I think we kind of, maybe we're talking about if you rush a building three times, then that can be considered spamming. So again, though, like, where's that, where's that threshold, you know? So it's a, it, it's a worthwhile debate to have, and I think we're going to continue to have it. Um, and then Guess who came along into that discussion? You guessed it, clapping cheeks and 50 cal. And they they started saying stuff like um, there should be a cap of, you know, 5,000 gold marks per day and there should be no economic gold marking. And so I came back and was like, hey, look, 
for a rule to be uh, valid, it has to be enforceable. It, it has to be verifiable, right? So the problem with economics, you, you spend gold marks to get wood or you spend gold marks to get iron or whatever. There's no way to prove that. There's no record of that, you know, like that's just something. And by the way, I think that's maybe the dumbest way to use gold marks. I mean, honestly, how expensive, like how much money are you going to spend in this game? How many hundreds of dollars do people spend in this game? It's like, whoa. But um, any, no, I think the worst use of gold mark that I can imagine is when you try to kill someone's morale. Like how much does that cost? I think it's really expensive. Uh, 3,000, 4,000. That's pretty bad. Like that's quite a bit. If you're sitting there repeatedly killing someone's morale over and over again, that could get really expensive. Anyway, um, these discussions need to be had. But anyway, I sort of came back with like, look, you know, we're, what we're trying to do is put together workable policy. And what we don't want is a situation where people can come out with just groundless accusations because that's chaos. You know, that's that's, you know, it would make the entire community crazy in the head. You know, it's kind, of, kind of like if that's what happened at the Salem witch witch trials is that. You know, if someone had a grudge against someone else, they would accuse them of being a witch, you know, and it was all unfounded and unprovable. And just it was just nuttiness, like sheer, uh, you know, mass insanity kind of thing. So it's kind of pushing back and just saying, look, we have to be able to prove um, whatever happens here. And it was it was a weird thing, like um, particularly 50 Cal and then clapping chinks would come in every once in a while and kind of backslap him and and here, here, you're right kind of thing. But it was really um, 50 Cal who. Um, by the way, was the guy who I asked to run the channel, you know, like he's the guy who I was like, I don't know anything about discord. And he, he seemed to know, he, you know, he knew what bots were and stuff like that. I don't have no idea what a bot is, uh, in discord. I've just not been on discord for very long at all. Um, I don't really understand what the appeal is. Like I'm a Reddit guy. I go to Reddit a lot. Um, I hate Facebook. It's a freaking boomer nightmare over there. I'll do Instagram a little bit and TikTok. I'm nuts for TikTok. Um, it remind TikTok is like vines because there's a lot of funny ones, but then there's also like all kinds of stuff. You can watch like a, like a table getting made in, in, you know, two minutes or something fast speed. But uh, anyway, I digress. Anyway, um, in comes 50 calories getting like more and more hostile. And it's like, wow, it almost felt like maybe somebody who's been drinking or something and you know some people get angry when they're drinking like it there was no rational kind of uh you know I, I felt like i would say something to him like logical like hey we you know we have to be able to prove these things and then he would come back with something just that is almost like well he didn't read what i said at all you know so then he started talking about well we'll have we'll force people to share their resource uh log with us and I was like, wait, what? Like, and, and again, I, I think I maybe just gave him too much credit because I was trying to say like, look, what, what you're talking about is what civilization has been struggling with for the last, you know, 10,000 years. It's freedom versus order, right? Like if you give away your freedoms to have order, which is what he was talking about, forcing people to share private account info, um, if you go shift too much towards order, then that's what a totalitarian state is. You know, that, that's what a, you know, uh, you know, geez, I mean, don't don't role play this game too much. If you're Germany, you don't have to be in the I guess that's World War Two. I was like, you don't have to be a, a Nazi, you know. Um, so try to talk about that. Like, I don't think we can force people to share screenshots of their private data. Um, you know, and of course. Uh, the whole freedom versus order thing. If you go too far to freedom, then you have anarchy, which some people think we should have. But then again, some people think we should have totalitarian and have a strong man leading us uh, who has unbridled power, you know. Um, but the rest of us have been trying to find that middle ground between freedom and order. And so it's kind of coming at him like that, like, hey, you know, like this is this is a good discussion to be having. But you're suggesting that we force people to share private info, I don't think that's going to fly. Because here's the other part of it. This is not the real world. This is a voluntary organization. Everyone here either consents to that or not, because they don't have to, right? I mean, in the real world, if you live in a particular country, then the government can arrest you if you don't do what they say. Like, you have to pay taxes. 
here in our community, all they do is leave. You know, it's 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 100 percent consent based. And uh, you start telling people they're going to have to share screenshots. So he did become more and more belligerent. Finally went over to a he DM'd me um, on a private channel. And again, I, you know, I started to since we were in private, I was like, hey, man, um, you know, it seems like you're like you're really angry. And, you know, I, I think you're young and I get it, man. Like the world has really gotten crazy in the last five years, say. And, uh, you know, like, are you OK? You know, and that seemed to make him even more angry, like he really was raging um, and he was sort of openly name calling by this time. And then he he touched one of my <laughs> he touched one of my hot button issues. He called me a beta and said that he was an alpha and get ready because I'm going to rant. I fucking hate the whole idea of alphas. I hate the whole idea of of people who call themselves alphas. And I'm not saying alpha males because there's a whole group of women who think they're alphas and they're with the alpha male. And, you know, it's all about alpha, alpha. And then they call, you know, cucks or betas. Like there's this whole little community of people. And so when he typed that, I, just, I like I type back, oh, no, like you're one of those. So let's let's break it down a little bit. The whole alpha phenomenon. First of all, it's based on research that was done um, in wolf packs, right? So this one particular scientist did some research and he determined that there's an alpha wolf. Um, there's a beta wolf, which is sort of the second most powerful wolf, who's kind of like a lieutenant, all the way down to the last, the, the weakest and least dominant wolf, which is called the tail um, of the pack. So first thing. When they call you a beta, they've got their terminology wrong. They're, I think they're trying to call you a tail, like you're the you're the subservient. You're literally the wolf that has to to bow your head and you know to, to everyone else. You know, so first of all, beta is wrong. You know, like beta, no, beta is the lieutenant. Beta is the second in charge. You know, like literally, you know, so many great men were were second in command. You know, I mean, if you think about King Arthur. Lancelot was his beta, you know, uh, not in their terminology, grant you, but in the real actual scientific terminology, you know, the, these guys act like they understand behavioral or biological science, you know, evolutionary science. And it's like, no, dude, you, you don't. You're using the wrong terminology. That's the first thing. The second thing is that more recent research has shown that this scientist was studying a displaced pack, a pack in captivity which means they were they were animals from several different packs that had been forced into the same area. What we found now as we've done further studies in the wild is that wolves organize by family. And it's the it's the oldest male and female that are the quote unquote alpha. So the the whole thing about alpha in the in the wolf pack thing is bullshit. There is no alpha male, alpha female. There's the grandmother and the grandfather. And then eventually when they become too weak, they sort of fall back and, and you know, one of their, uh, you know, one of their children steps up to be the leader of the family. So that's the other funny thing is that it's not the biggest, strongest, meanest wolf, the toughest wolf that claims alpha, the alpha title. No, it's just the, the most senior in the family. So that's the other thing is like the whole thing is bullshit. And then here's the thing that really gets me is that. <laughs> so let's forget all that. Let's forget the actual evolutionary science, the actual science that they think they're quoting, which is, first of all, bullshit. And second of all, they're using the wrong terms. And it's just it's really what would happen if a bunch of uneducated assholes came up with an ideology. <laughs> oh, wait, that is, that's what it is. But anyway, so forget all that. Let's just let's just go with their definition of things. So what is an alpha? An alpha is the, is the guy, let's go with alpha male. Alpha male is the guy that is superior to everyone around them. And to keep their alpha status, they have to continually knock down everyone around them. Make sure everyone knows what the pecking order is, right? We've seen these guys constantly chest puffed out. Any, anybody else who comes around that seems tough, they've got to challenge them. They've got to have a little 
pushing fight. They got to get in each other's faces like they're about to kiss and stare each other down. And I would suggest to you that if your whole life you're thinking about what other people think of you, that your entire identity and your entire ego, your entire self value is based on what other people think of you, then you're not an alpha. You're pathetic. You're a sad, sad person that needs other people to look up to you to feel good about yourself. No, I mean, look, there's all different kinds of personalities, right? I would way rather be the power behind the throne, right? I would way rather be an advisor to, to the king or whatever, you know? Um, I have no desire, no desire for people to fear me or bow down to me. In other words, I don't depend on anyone for my self-value. Fuck all those people. And, and if you do, if you, if you think you're an alpha, then I'm sorry, man. That's actually profoundly weak. That's a weak position because you're dependent on everyone around you. You're constantly having to, to survey the mood of the people around you. Is anyone challenging you? Does anybody think that, that they could be, an, you know, it's like, it's just pathetic, man. Like, I, I hate, I hate the whole thing. If you're someone who's in the alpha culture, I'm sorry, man. I, I don't mean to say that you're a bad person, but I do mean to say, let's just wrap it up with this. The people who I've met that might be considered uh, sort of an abstract idea of alpha, in other words, really strong, really confident, um, whatever. Those people never claim to be alphas. If you claim to be an alpha in that sense, you're not. <laughs> so the whole thing, the whole thing just, uh, uh, I hate it. And when he said that, I was like, okay, this might be the line. I, I might just be done with this guy. You know, he, he seems very hostile, aggressively anti, like anti everything. Um, I've seen him dusting it up with at least two other people in the channel and he's a mod, right? So like when people were coming in, Benaya came in at a certain point. It's like, guys, just drop it, you know? And uh, I was like, well, I don't, you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm continuing to come back and try to reason with this guy and, you know, just call me a hypocrite and, you know, and then, but in the DM, he's finally like, you know, screaming, <laughs> screaming beta and uh, really, uh, really got angry, he said something about like, I think on one of my channels, I said, oh, my wife is uh, calling me up to dinner. I better go. So he's saying stuff about like, you know, your wife's got you on a leash. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, no. No. So being respectful of your wife and, and that she cooked you a meal and you want to go up there in a timely, like that's being cucked or whatever the hell. It's like, no, man, no, please. Um, so anyway, he's gone and, uh, and it, uh, clapping cheeks is gone as well. And uh, then the big surprise of the day was Corwin. Where's, or it's Corman. Corman, yeah, here's Corman. So he's kind of over there with them, and I think he might be in the transverse as well. Yeah. Um, Corman, on his way out, deleted all the channels in the server, except for he couldn't delete um, the, uh, the Universe Europe that we had because it was a lock channel, and he couldn't delete the general chat channel because I think just you can't delete that in, in general. So when I woke up this morning, I was like, where's all the channels? <laughs> and then somebody, like with more knowledge of, of uh, Discord than I, showed a kind of screenshot a report because I opened up brand new channels and they were like, Oh yeah, you can see where Cor it says Corwin deleted, blah, 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 Corwin deleted, blah, blah. And you know, I, I thought about it for like two seconds. I was like, well, actually he kind of did me a favor because when I made the initial channels, I didn't know if people would use them or not. So some of the channels just had nothing on them at all. Other channels were used a lot. So I was like, okay, now I know when I rebuild this, I can actually put channels that I know will be relevant. That's the first thing. And the second thing is nobody's going back and reading those. It's just, you know, I mean, I sometimes go back into the channels uh, to screenshot someone's argument and say, hey, that's not what you said yesterday or whatever. So, you know, I mean, it can be useful in, in some minor petty ways like that. Um, but overall, it was like, well, that was, you know, completely meaningless. Like, you know, I don't I don't go back into the tips channel and look for tips, you know, like it's all in real time. If somebody has a question about a particular, you know, there's a, an advice channel now and there's a tips and tactics like if you want to share a tip with somebody that you found is useful you can go on there 
if you have advice about a situation, you can go on that other channel. So it's all kind of happening in real time. So it was it was just kind of like a like a petty thing, like trying to literally trying to hurt the community on your way out because you were butt hurt with a particular not even you. Corwin and I didn't have any like any friction. He seemed like a nice guy. When they showed me that screenshot, I was like, oh dang it, I liked Corman. <laughs> you know. So like, but he did that and then someone else shared another screenshot that he did that um specifically because uh 50 cal told him to so um that's you know it is what it is but anyway a lot of drama man like i'm like holy crap but i will say um i've i've been i think i mentioned before i was a um i owned a facebook group or built you know made a facebook group that was sort of a local uh down in fayetteville arkansas and it had it got up to about five thousand people and there is sort of this critical place when you reach a lot of people, um, things can go off the rails and they were starting to go off the rails there. But what I did before and what, you know, what happened just now is oftentimes you can really just kind of surgically remove two or three people and, uh, and like everything is better, you know? And so I did, I kicked and banned clapping cheeks and 50 cow. Um, and it, it, it wasn't the alpha beta thing, although I super hate that. It got more and more abusive. And finally, I was just, okay, dude, fuck off. I'm like, you know, sorry. Like, I, you know, I, I've got too much, you know, other stuff to think about in my life than to, to really try to, like, reason with an angry child, you know. Um, so I went ahead and kicked and banned him and Clapping Cheeks. And I went ahead and went over to YouTube. Um, and I guess you can uh, block them or whatever. And went ahead and did that too. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Like whatever, whatever makes you angry. And I'm sure like there are good reasons, like probably, um, they've had difficult lives or whatever. Like, um, but man, I gotta be honest, like we all have difficult lives, you know, uh, but certainly some much more than others, right? Like in terms of abuse and, and, you know, childhood trauma and stuff. So, so, it, you know, if that's the case, like, I hope, I really do hope that, you know, particularly 50 cal, uh, clapping cheeks, like I said, came in from time to time, like with a, with a, oh, he burned you or something like that, you know, but he was never really the origin of it. It all seemed to kind of circle around 50 cal. So, um, man, I hope he works that stuff out. I think he's, I think he's pretty young and, uh, you know, people do tend to maybe mellow out and, and grow more wise, hopefully as they get older. But, uh, so that's, whoa, that's what's going on, man. So let me just, let me just f uh, finish up with this because again, there's not really much in-game stuff to say, but I do want to say this to anybody in Africa and in particular, maybe Tandoom, Tom Miller, um, who have kind of been sort of neutral. And then I know Ruru and 8 Basil have been, I think at war with Papa Smitty. Um, well, let's just actually find out if Ruru is, cause I'm not sure about that. Um, yeah, he's at war with Papa Smitty. So obviously those two are going to, are going to, you know, be opposed to Europe. But here's what I, I want to say to Tandoom and Tom Miller. Um, you guys do whatever you want. And if you want to stand with Africa against Europe, then that's what you need to do. And I want, I want you to know just like straight up. Um, I know that being the, the caster, right. And the creator of this channel gives me sort of outsized influence. I know that. And I know that being in Europe gives us an advantage as well. So I've got no delusions about that. Um, but what I want to make sure is that you don't think that because, um, you know, because um, I'm the caster, right? I'm the YouTuber or whatever, um, that I'll be mad at you or that I'll somehow try to punish you or whatever. No. Um, anybody who wants to oppose us should oppose us. Um, stand with your allies if you want. Or, you know, if you want to stand with us, you can stand with us too. Um, you know, we have a couple uh, countries, side countries that we're working with um, as we move forward. So what I want to what I want to make sure you guys know, though, is that you're absolutely free to um, to follow your with your own moral compass and where you want to be in this game without any consideration of what I think or, you know, like what would make me mad or whatever. It won't make me mad. OK, I promise you um, we've got a pretty good situation going on in Europe. Um, we are starting to spread into Africa. You can see, especially with Papa Smitty over here. And I believe this is Zinzin here. Um, and, you know, I'll be honest. I don't, I, man, I, pro I might continue on east over here and, and 
with Poland, um, our new brother here, Poland, I might, I might push East. Um, so I have not quite decided. I know Popcat's going to take over Ireland. I think maybe not, maybe, um, and then possibly move up here into, uh, Scandinavia. So we shall see ladies and gentlemen. Um, so that's about it. Um, really just wanted to make sure, you know, yeah, like some pretty negative stuff happened. It is funny though. Uh, a lot of people DM me right after and were like, you should have done that a long time ago. And other people would like, thank God that was, you know, so much drama and so much negativity, you know, <laughs> And uh, but, you know, the one I did hear the most was you should have done that long ago. And again, I think that's like the fact that it's hard to piss me off. It does make my life better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't go around angry at all. I'm not an angry person at all. And so it makes my life better. I think it made my children's lives better because, you know, they didn't have an angry dad. Um, but it also sometimes when I'm in a position of leadership, um, I don't I don't come down as quickly as I should. Um, on people who are making everybody's experience shitty. So, you know, I'll try to do better at that. But I will say, like, now that now that those two in particular are gone, um, it's just it's like the calm after the storm kind of thing. You know, it's just like, oh, OK. So we are putting together um, and I think Benaya has been leading the, the charge on this to put together um, a set of basic kind of easy to follow rules um, and, and he, he rightfully said there should be rules for discord, how to interact with each other, you know, with, with civility, there should be rules for the, in the game. And then, uh, and then also rules for the moderators, because one of the things we all kind of agreed on is that, you know, uh, F Fifty Cal was one of the, he was the primary moderator of, of our channel of our server rather, and coming out with, you know, accusations against people and then you know, angrily like attacking the, <laughs> the creator of the channel of the, I keep saying channel because I, you know, I'm the creator of the YouTube channel, but I'm, I'm talking specifically about the discord server. Um, it was a bad look, you know, <laughs> like you want your mods to be sort of unified and, uh, you want to know that there's order, um, to whatever extent you can get order, um, you know, while still having your freedoms. Um, so we're kind of putting that together right now. And uh, as we move forward, we, we hope to really have a way for people to funnel their complaints because I know people goldmark spam. I've, I've had it happen to me many times in games, you know, where it's just there's no there's no way other that something could have happened. You know, like uh, one of the things that Papa Smitty alleged was that he landed on the coast and like literally the day he landed the the opponent's capital like teleported, you know? So, you know, that's, but again, that's not proof, right? That's not proof. That's your, your own perspective. And, but the thing is like, and this is something else I tried to say to 50 Cal. I was like, look, you know, I get that to you, you feel satisfied that it's proof because you saw it. Right. But now you bring that to the, you bring that to the, uh, you know, tribunal or whoever is the evaluating, you know, authority. They didn't see it right? They didn't see it. And so, you know, like it or not, people lie, you know, all the freaking time. So it's one of the things we've talked about is like, um, we've got to have a way to mediate some of these disputes, but we also have to be able to prove it. There's just no way around that. Um, so we're working on that right now. Um, I will say like, I didn't think we needed rules in terms of this kind of stuff. And I almost still don't because we're grownups here. And we're all, we're all, you know, like we're here by consent, right? We're here because we want to be here. Um, but I, I do think Benaya has got the right idea. Um, in a perfect world, we wouldn't need rules, right? But this is not a perfect world. So we are working on that and hopefully we can get something moving forward with that. But uh, yeah, wow. Um, really, if I knew how to do Discord better, maybe I could have just muted somebody. I don't know. But it's also the fact that I made him a moderator before I before I even knew who he was. I was just I just needed somebody. Uh, he was one of the first five or ten people on the on the uh, server, and uh, and he said he knew you know how to operate and and figure things out. So um, anyway, the new moderators, in case you're curious, are Mighty Benaya and General Power of Us, and I believe Sir Jathan over here. 
Now, the cool thing about that is Power of Us and Jathan are both YouTubers like me, and they're starting to get they're trying to, you know, starting to get their own channels up and running. And to me, that that, you know, somebody who has a public face like that is just automatically going to be more reasonable, right? Because they're trying to build up a public persona, a brand, and uh, and you can't go around just honestly, like it, some of that stuff was unhinged, you know? Um, so, and, and plus I just, I know both of them. I've had chat with both of them, Power of Us and Jathan, and uh, they're just genuinely great guys. They're, they're both also very young, um, but but also just, you know, they, they, you, they really clear clearly love being a part of this community and take it very seriously. They're very active. And then I think a lot of people know Benaya because he was um, early on very active in the um, in the YouTube um, comments section and then, you know, came right over and again, just offers um, good advice and good um, game wisdom from time to time and also tends to be the voice of reason when when other people are are losing their freaking minds. So he's going to be a great moderator as well. And when we do put together a tribunal, tribunal, um, I'm not going to be a part of it. So I, I want to continue to reinforce the idea that I, I'm not going to be a judge, jury, and executioner. I'm not going to be the arbiter of what is holy and what is moral. It's That's not me. I'm a commentator. I'm here to cast games. Um, so I really hope I can put things in place where people can feel like they are heard, that their grievances are heard. Um, but again, I, I don't want to be a part of that. I don't think I can be a part of that. Last thing I want to do is me as the, you know, as the commentator, you know, banning someone or kicking someone from, a, you know, it's like, no, that's, that's not, I don't want to be the one choosing that. I just don't think that's a good look for me as the, as the sort of commentator, um, the, the creator of content. So, all right, that's what, that's where we stand guys. Um, if you didn't know any of this stuff, good for you. Cause it, it did kind of suck. You know, I'll tell you, it's like, it's just like a lot of, um, anger and negativity out there. So if you did see it, I'm sorry. I, I really, you know, a lot of you are right. I should have, uh, I should have slapped it down a lot earlier, just, just for the health of the community. So, you know, I'm learning too, because, you know, I've never, I, I opened the discord. Literally the only reason I opened the discord was so that we could talk about, the, you know, games without having spies, right? In-game communications can be intercepted and often are. So I literally just wanted a way for us to plan, you know, coalition stuff um, off channel. Um, one of my heroes is War Badger, and he was my mentor early on. We were, in a, we were in a game together, and he really helped me a lot, taught me a lot of that early game stuff that, you, you know, you just don't know until someone tells you. And, uh, and we were on uh, WhatsApp to do our out of game chat. So literally that's what the discord was for me. And it, it has grown into a community and I didn't really even understand that that's what discord was. I've literally never been on discord ever, ever before, but I am learning. And, uh, and I do like having people on board, um, who are willing to put in the work and figure it out, um, to make this community better, right? To find that balance between freedom and order. So I'm loving it. Um, I'm, I'm kind of sad that that all had to go down, but at the same time, I'm not an angry guy. <laughs> it's like, I'm not, uh, I don't know, like maybe there's something wrong with me, but I, I, you know, it's hard to traumatize me. It's, you know, I talk about, it, it's like I was raised, my mom was a single mom and she was a hippie. And so like, I think I just went through like a lot of trauma as a child. Like we would hitchhike. She took her like four year old son hitchhiking across the country. We were one time we were in a car that was like speeding and the guy was acting crazy and he was drinking, <laughs> you know, like that's my childhood, <laughs> you know? So maybe like, I don't know, I've, maybe I've developed, uh, you know, a thick skin because of that or something. I don't know. But, uh, for those of you that were traumatized by that, I'm sorry, you know? And again, I, I think I'm starting to kind of learn that like some people, you can talk them down, you know, some people, Hey, you know, calm down. It's okay. What can we do? And then other people just don't seem to want to be talked down. Um, and it's maybe that thing where you, they want attention, whether it's negative or positive, they just really need attention. Um, you know, maybe they just need a hug, right. Or something. I don't know. But, uh, anyway, um, we will do better moving forward. So thanks for checking in guys. Uh, we're going to keep this, this thing rolling, man. Um, I think it's just going to get better and bigger and more fun as we go. 
Um, we will be talking. Um, I'll re release a game uh, video soon about our next uh, sub game. And there's some really neat ideas that I like um, that kind of involve some historic role play kind of stuff. So um, we'll flesh that out as well and release that soon. Next sub game will be coming up soon. Um, I'm not really casting the first two sub games anymore. They're just too far advanced, really. Um, I may release a follow-up video on, on one or both of them, you know, from time to time, but I'm, I'm just done trying to do it all at the same time. I have my cavalry game going right now, which is taking a long time. I come out with tips and tactics every once in a while, so that's that's taking some of my energy as well. And uh, and so there's one other. I can't remember one other that I'm doing. And then there's the multiverse. So I've got enough stuff to cast right now um, to keep me occupied. But the cavalry game is going to be over fairly soon. It's just one of those... Um, I believe it's 31 player map. So that'll be over fairly soon. And uh, then I'll be ready to open up the new subscriber game. So that should be a lot of fun, especially if we if we do it the way we've been talking about doing it. It's kind of exciting. So I'll be coming out with a video about that where we can kind of decide finally what we want to do moving forward. All right, guys, thanks for checking in. Adios, amigo.